<laughs> We're going to do double angle formulas today. Yesterday we did sum and difference formulas. Okay, those are going to help us see why the double angle formulas are what they are. So, cosine 2 theta, as you guys could probably guess, is going to have three different forms. Sine 2 theta is only going to have the one form. All right, but what are they? If we think of cosine of 2 theta as cosine of theta plus theta, from yesterday we have our formula for the sum. Yes? From yesterday, this is cosine theta, cosine theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, which we could rewrite as what? So cosine 2 theta we could write as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Similar thought process for sine. It's going to be sine of theta plus theta. From yesterday that was sine theta cosine theta plus sine theta cosine theta, which we could rewrite as what? Sine squared theta. It's just going to be theta. 2 theta. sine theta cosine theta. So how do we get these ones? We use our identities from a while ago. Cosine squared theta could be written as, so this is the cosine 2 theta is 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta, which simplifies to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So we have all these formulas. The ones that matter for today are these ones. This is just using stuff that we've talked about previously to show why these are what they are. We should all be aware that the sine of 120 degrees is root 3 over 2. But we could use our double angle formula to get there as well. We could say this is the sine of 2 times 60, which is 2 times the sine of 60 times the cosine of 60. <coughs> So we get 2 times root 3 over 2 times 1 half. What is 2 times 1 half? 1. So we get 1 times root 3 over 2, which is root 3 over 2. Same thing, as it should be. So again, I'm just illustrating for you that these formulas do in fact work in case you thought I just made them up. So we should all know that the cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So rewrite it as the cosine of 2 times pi over 6, which is cosine squared of pi over 6 minus sine squared of pi over 6. It doesn't matter which of the three versions of that formula you use. You get the same answer either way. What is the cosine of pi over 6? The cosine is root 3 over 2. The sine is 1 half. What is root 3 over 2 squared? So this is 3 over 4 minus 1 half squared is 1 over 4 gives us 1 half. Again, like it should be the same thing. We do not need to know what cosine theta is. All we need is this. This information right here would allow us to solve for cosine theta. Since we don't need it, we're not going to use it. Our formula for cosine 2 theta, using only sine, is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. We know that sine is 3 fifths. What is 1 minus 2 times 3 fifths squared? Okay. So we just plug into our formula. We know sine. Plug it in. We should all be able to get from here to 7 twenty fifths. They ask us for sine 2 theta. Our formula for sine 2 theta is 2 oh God. sine That's theta no. cosine no. theta. For this problem, to figure this out, we need to know sine and cosine. We are only given cosine. So we need to figure out sine. 
That is when this comes into play. We are going to draw a triangle. If we know that the cosine is negative, that means that the x value of our point is negative, which means we could be anywhere in here, the second or the third quadrant. But we are told this piece of information, meaning it is in the third quadrant. So we know our triangle is going to be here. This is 3. This is 5. This we can think of as theta. What is the length of this missing side? 4. four. And if that's 4, then sine theta is what? Sine is negative 4 over 5. In our triangle, if you use Sokotoa, sine is opposite 4 over hypotenuse 5. is 4 over 5. But we know that we're in the third quadrant where this point should be negative, negative. So we know the sine in the third quadrant should be negative. Now that we know sine, we know sine 2 theta is 2 times negative 4 fifths times negative 3 fifths, which is 24 20 fifths. <clears throat> They're asking for sine again. So sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cosine theta. We were told cosine. We need to figure out sine again. We know that we are in the first quadrant. Here is theta, this is 15, this is 17. The missing length is 8, so we know sine theta is 8 over 17, positive because we're in the first quadrant. So sine 2 theta is 2 times 8 seventeenths times 15 seventeenths, which is 240 over 289. They're asking for cosine 2 theta, so we don't have to mess with this. You could if you wanted to, but you don't have to. We know sine, so we're going to use the fact that cosine 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So it is 1 minus 2 times negative 8 seventeenths squared. What is my answer? 161 over 289. 